It's going to show you how you can use the ESP32 to work with, on a Kemba system. And it's just a practical example here. Uh, nothing too much technical about this. So I use the ESP32. This is in the, my case here. I do connect onto the, the Kemba system for this adapter. Okay. So the power supply to USB 32 comes through this port as well as the canvas connections here. Okay. And um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect my PS3 remote control. And that, that PS3 remote control will connect into the USB 32 device. Okay. I'm going to try to hack the nifty lift machine and operate the functions with the PS3 remote control wirelessly. Okay. So that's all connected here. I'm going to turn the machine on to the cage controls and we're going to try from there. So I'm in the cage controls right now and um, that's a controller. So machine is on. I have to push uh, the P3 button. Just so you know, this is not the original PS3 controller. It's just a Chinese copy of that. Um, so you press the PS3 button and the lights is flashing here. So that connects into USB 32. Okay, and I'm gonna have to push a foot switch on the machine as I would go to operate the functions here by moving the pedal switches. But what I do instead, so I will operate the button. So I have to press a button. For example, this is gonna be my primary boom. And with this stick, I can go up or down, up or down, and it is proportional. Okay, so let's try. So I'm gonna set this to speed free on the controls. I press a foot switch and then I push primary boom and I push the left stick up slowly so you can see the boom is going up now yeah it's moving up and you can go slower or faster and the same down so I push left stick down and it's coming down okay so it's moving down so now the same if I do this button the circle button here so that's your that's my slew left and right so I push the button I go to the right and we have a movement to the right so machine is slowing to the right hopefully you can see that but it's, it's moving to the right now and then if I do opposite to the left it's going to the left Same with the secondary boom, so secondary boom is my square button here, so I push that and I go on the left stick up. You can see the secondary boom is moving and I can have full proportional control of that. So I can speed up, slow down and have very sm smooth movement. Okay, so we come down with that. And the telescope boom as well the same. So this X here is going to be my telescope boom, so I push X, I push back as telescope out, and you can see the teleboom is moving out. It's going all the way out. Okay, and back in, same. Keep holding the tele button and just operate the left stick just to have telescope boom moving in or out. So all these controls happening wirelessly over the Bluetooth, so between over Bluetooth and a canvas. Okay, so we're utilizing the ESP32, the Bluetooth peripherals and uh, the canvas peripherals. Okay, and for the drive, I have to press those two triggers. Okay, so they are number two on the left and right. So that's that's my trigger, as it would be trigger for the drive joystick. And I keep holding them both, and I can use this stick to drive machine forward. Or back so I will push a foot switch down so I push those two so we're gonna go into drive now so if I start going you see the machine is driving now see the wheels spinning so machine is driving forward and the reverse is back So that's